Good afternoon, Lace Jump, and I'm John. This is Betty a True Dad. Welcome to Dyson Sphere Program, one of those big, lovely, sexy, buildy, automation y sort of things. So, if you've played Factorio or Satisfactory, you're going to be right at home here. But uh, the interesting thing here is it's on a whole different scale. With the goal being, as you might have guessed from the title, yes, you're building a Dyson Sphere, which is basically like a big shed around the sun. Okay, let's see if we can even start making that happen. And the game really leans into the scale here, which is, uh, you get to begin the game just, you know, uh, flying around. That's our little starting planet, the game selected, with some nice, you know, basic resources on it. But if you want to, you can just sort of, you know, uh, fly around. Uh, Look around over there, that's going to be one of the other stars in our system, just under four light years away. Yes, this is kind of like Factorio meets Astroneer, and that just sounds lovely to me. And on top of that, you get to play as a massive mecha right from the get-go, which is just lovely. So, as you can see here, one, the planets are really tiny, which is super cute, but as you can also see from the fact, you know, other planets are also moving in and out of the sky, the entire galaxy is being modelled, like at all times. So all those other big bright stars, the prominent ones, uh, those are actual stars that eventually you're going to be able to go to. But for the time being, we might be, uh, yeah, not able to uh, do that just yet because uh, instead I just need to, you know, chop down this rock to get some rocks. So, okay, we're not quite ready to be going at light speed yet, shall we say that? And you may also notice as I just, you know, go around, click on a few trees, uh, yes, I have got a certain amount of energy in my little robot. So I need to keep him nice and fueled up. Now, fortunately, that's super, super easy to do. So just, you know, deal with all of this nonsense, open up my mecha menu, and here we go, got 10 million plant fuel. Toss that in, all of a sudden, he's going to start recharging a lot flipping faster. Also, I love how, you know, there's so much variety of scales. So if you want to, you can just, you know, uh, zoom right in. You can effectively just be, you know, a close third person. Uh, while you're just, you know, going around the world, uh, enjoying chopping down a few bits and pieces, etc, etc. That's all fine if that's what you want to do. Or alternatively, if you want to, you know, uh, zoom out and then keep zooming out. And then keep zooming out some more. And then keep zooming out a little bit more than... Yeah, that's... That's the variety of scale we've got going on, and I kind of love it. Back on the ground, however, yes, we're going to be needing some uh, iron if we want to build that giant sunshed. So, I mean, I could just gather it by hand, but to be honest, that seems, uh, that seems a bit slow. I'm picking up, you know, one iron or a time, and this one vein contains 36,000. And uh, I'm going to be honest, 36,000 probably isn't enough to build a shed around the sun. Like, we're going to need at least, like, uh, 72,000. So, we should probably, you know, automate this process. So, uh, all right, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use the technology tree. So, say, a mining machine, the ability to make a little bit of power, the ability to move that power. Well, in order to do that, we just need to feed a certain number of resources into my internal research system, because... Uh, I've just got my own internal research machine because I'm a robot. So, uh, fortunately, I think I might already have some of that. No, I have none of that, actually. But that's all absolutely fine. An internal replicator. Well, that's just lovely. So that just tells me what I need uh, right here. So to make a magnetic coil, I need ten of them. I'm going to be needing myself, uh, yes, some magnets and a little bit of copper. Well, that's all absolutely fine because uh, I've actually got myself some magnets right here, got some copper, pulled that out of my ship. So let's just start making some of that nonsense. So uh, yes, make me some of that. I should have just enough because apparently I'm making like uh, two at a time or whatever. So hopefully that's going to be, yep, that's A-OK. -okay. And I'll tell you what, this seems like a good little spot for plenty of flipping coverage. Slap you down, no problem whatsoever. But that's also going to be needing, you know, a little bit of power to be operating. That's fine. For now, I'm just going to be needing myself a little bit of wind power. Lovely, just slap that down, you know, right here. So I'm inside the range. And then if need be, I can also get myself a pylon if I wanted to. No, that's the pylon right there. If I wanted to be, you know, expanding the range of my power grid. Lovely. And this machine's got it going on a bit more effectively because, uh, just grab this. Yeah, 
this machine is now mining every single one of those veins simultaneously. But as a result of that, we're already over power capacity, so we might be needing a little bit more power here. So this is all absolutely fine. Need to be making myself, yes, one wind turbine. Produce that. Okay, that's not all the automating we need to do, because yes, there's a, there's a lot of automation and also upgrades for, for myself, and I'm going to be needing them before I could go to space. Yeah, this is... This is a big game, by the way. So, okay, basic logistics. There's my little conveyor belt. There's my chest. There's my grabbies. So I'm going to be needing some of them. Now, for that, I'm going to be needing gears. For gears, I'm going to be needing, yes, iron ingots. And I can make some iron ingots internally. So that's not going to be a problem because I've got 10 million bloody iron bits and pieces. So how about we just start producing them? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Though, okay, I've only just realized this button's here. That button makes life a lot easier. Could have just turned that up to 10 and then pushed it. That would have been a lot easier right there. So this is going to be a bit more complicated because now I need, uh, yes, these things. Each one produces two, so I need ten, so up that to uh, five. Can I actually make that right now? Do I actually have enough? No, I'm not going to have enough copper. So that's all fine. For the time being, I just need to, you know, go on a bit of a stroll and find myself some copper. There's going to be copper around somewhere, you know, hopefully. And this is what the planet view is very useful for because, yes, now I can have a little bit of a shufty roundy and figure out, you know, where the bloody hell the copper is. So as soon as we start working on this, that should produce the copper that can then become, you know, copper plates. And then that can finish up all of this nonsense. And now we should be absolutely flipping golden. Need some iron, need some copper, need some stuff. And that's going to get me the conveyor belts we need for your absolute flipping basics. So that's all fine. Now I can just build a conveyor belt here and get this iron ore moving. But to be honest, that doesn't really help me, does it? Because base iron ore is not very useful. So, okay, back to the tech tree. Where are we going to have... Uh, this looks about right. Smelting! That'll do as a starting point. Get working on that, please. And straight away, we've got the materials we need for most of that. Five of you as well. The game will flag if I don't have enough. But I apparently have more than enough flipping ore. So we are absolutely golden. The game also seems to, yeah, rather generously, like, you know, when you first research something, it just gives you a sample of it for free, which is really bloody nice. So, slap down one smelter right over here. That's just absolutely lovely. And yes, conveyor belts are nice and simple too. So simply lay out a nice conveyor belt right over here. And then that will just, you know, make itself happen. Absolutely lovely. And this building is going to be wanting to produce, you know, some beautiful, beautiful business right here. Yes, make me iron ore, except hang on, no. Sorry, I'm going to be needing a grabber for some of that. My mistake. Yeah, some buildings have, like, you know, fixed out points, but they're going to be needing, you know, a nice little tool to actually, you know, get them going in somewhere. So one sorter can then just go over to here. There we go. Slap you down. And now this little grabby thing is going to be moving these bits and pieces in. So, okay, that there, that's not efficient, is it? Because there is a moment's downtime before the grabber can pull in the next thing. So, okay, we need to have a rethink of this. Just to have another thing going to right here. And then I just want to be having a double fit right there. And now we've got ourselves, you're actually outside the power grid. That's all absolutely fine. I'm pretty sure I should have, a, yes, one power beacon right over here. Slap you down right there. And now we have got double things going in. So now at this point, there we flipping go. That is now mass producing all of that. But, 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 but. Yeah, it's going to get filled up too. So we need to make sure that's got somewhere to go. And that there, that's all absolutely fine. Just slap down another bit of conveyor belt right over here. And say, hello, I need you to drop off, you know, your stuff right here. And we'll see if that's actually enough by itself. How are we doing in terms of 67? Is it holding at 67? It's very slowly ticking up, so let's just put another one right there. And yeah, it's very simple. This strikes me as very new player friendly compared to some of the games of this type I've played in the past. I think it is, you know, very, very friendly in that regard, which is lovely. 
Right, slap down one chest. I'm going to be honest, that was uh, bigger than I was expecting it to be. But that's all absolutely fine. And then I'm just going to be needing a couple of you to put that into here. Going to be needing to uh, make a handful of these, please. I'm going to be needing loads of them. So just start working on that. That's all absolutely fine. More of them in production right over now, which is spectacular. And now we have got ourselves a fully operational production line, aside from the fact it is... Uh, Yes, when everything turns on, it's actually over capacity, isn't it? Okay, we're going to be needing, you know, power. Right now the satisfaction is low, so it's lucky we're not playing satisfactory, otherwise we'd be in trouble. Here we go, thermal power. Right, so we need to go through basic assembling processes to, you know, automate the production of other exciting bits and pieces. So, uh, alright, let's get working on you in that case. And we're going to be needing coal for that, so aha! I'm seeing coal, but while we're just waiting for that to come in, yes, I may as well just get a production on a copper coming down in this direction, because we're going to be needing some copper sooner or later. So I may as well get it moving down over here. And in case resources are starting to get low, oh my goodness, what's that over here? Do I just have literally everything? I'll just be having all of that, actually. Because uh, once I've got all of that, now, now I can start saying, you know what? Just start, you know, making me just... 10 million flipping bits and pieces. So that's now just happening by itself. So iron is now absolutely fine. Game saying, hey, you're about to uh, run out of fuel. Well, that's all absolutely fine too, because I'm sure I must be carrying around uh, 10 million bits of wood. Just shove that in my fuel chamber that can run on literally anything. That's not a problem. Okay, sitting on a good old big pile of some lovely, lovely copper right now. Just going to start uh, shipping that down south. Got 10 million flipping bits of uh, conveyor belt here, so that shouldn't be a problem at all. So here we go. My robot's just getting on with all of this business by themselves, though. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so they are literally grabbing stuff from me. They're treating me as a storage chest, so... They're going to be faster if I'm... Ooh, I hadn't realised that before. They're going to be more efficient if I'm close by. In fact, can they even do the further away things? If I'm just like, you know, 10 million miles away. Yes, but it slows them down. So, okay, another reason we need to, like, you know, automate the building as time goes by. So, copper is just being shipped down. But to be honest, yes, with a single smelter, it's not efficient. I could definitely be running an extra smelter. So, okay, give me... Give me information here. So, yes, you can get very simple information. So, uh, 60 a minute of this smelter right now. Meanwhile, this mining machine over in this direction can produce 120. So, basically, I can double my production capacity pretty easily. Good, 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 good. But, yes, this whole wind turbine thing, this is getting a bit boring. So, thermal power is going to be needing... Aha! So, yes, when I say this is like Factorio... Okay, it is Factorio, but, like, you know, you're on small round planets, and that's cool enough on its own, so I'm not going to complain. So, yes... You need to start producing science. Here we go, my science machine. Love it. Though I cannot but notice, yes, over here in production. Yeah, you don't just need iron to make iron plates. You also need iron to make magnets. And we're going to be needing magnets at some point or another. So, okay, let's also have a little offshoot line. Because this is producing when it works. 210, that's producing 60. So I can definitely have, like, several additional smelters running off this one line. Speak of the devil, lack of magnets means I can't get my science building set up because I need magnets, and though I've got 10 million plates, you can't turn plates into magnets, you need the raw ore. So, okay, this is definitely the right thing to do here. I've already got a spare smelter ready to go. Pretty sure I have myself a, a spare handful of... Uh, Yep, grabby McJibbles, so just slap you into you, slap you into you. You're going to be needing more of them, actually, so let's just start, uh, yep, getting some of them ready to go. No troubles, that's now just happening. It's all just very easy. It all just seems, I don't know, to me somehow a lot more manageable to get your head round right from the get-go. And I should have just enough grabbers and sorters to make all this work, so... Now, at this point, you're all going to be moved into here. Congratulations, we've now got magnet production. Good, 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 good. So, okay, the magnets are now coming in. I'll just be having all of that, thank you. That should now be plenty of magnets to make, you know, all of this. 
So, then the limiting factor is going to be copper. Well, that's fine, because I'm willing to bet I've got some copper over here. Yeah, I'll just be having a couple of stacks of that, no trouble whatsoever. Just in case this gets low, I'll be having a couple of stacks out of here too. So, okay, my basic resource is now coming in nice and flipping fast. Okay, let's talk about producing some science. So, I don't know what science needs to function, but I'm gonna guess, oh, that's the energy grid flashing yellow at me. The energy grid is not a happy bunny. That's all fine. As soon as we get some science coming in, I'll build a coal plant. We'll probably, you know, pollute this planet into the ground. It'll be fine. What you need to be fed is, uh, yeah, circuit boards, which are a function of iron and whatever, and you are magnets and whatever. So, okay, two magnets and a copper versus two irons and a copper. So what you're actually saying is, between all of this, it's two, two, and two. So I could jump straight into that, but I feel like we might want to be talking about, yeah, splitters and sorters at this point, though. Oh, that's gonna need... Okay, we can't do that right now. Before we get into that, we have to get research sorted out. Now, I could just manually sort out, then again, that's... That is a thing I could do. I could just manually do the research to get the sorting done before we automate it. And I feel like that's probably the better call, actually. So, uh, how much do you actually... Uh, yeah, how much do we need uh, to get uh, automation done? Just 100. Okay, well that's not going to be too difficult to do. I mean, I've got 10 million magnets. And I've got 10 million... Oh, that was, that was too much iron. I slightly picked up too much, uh, too much iron there. 10, and then 2, another 10, then another 10, then another 10, then another 10. Okay, so that's coming in pretty darn fast. That's not actually going to be a problem at all. That's being made uh, pretty efficiently. And then I just need, uh, yeah, 10, and then that times 5, because it's 2 times per thing. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's actually, yeah, it says it right there. So, okay, that's only going to take like a minute to make. So I'd say that's probably the most efficient way to get this started off. Because for the time being, my battery appears to be okay running on what? Right, get you kicked off. And that is producing... That is producing science at a decent rate, though it's slightly again knackering the bloody power supply. Oh, it's full up on science. Okay, I need to collect the science so it doesn't get... Okay, I wasn't expecting it to get full up on science, but it gets full up on science. Okay, we need to create, like, a science chest where we keep the science. Otherwise, there's going to be trouble. Okay, check the levels of science going in here, because it looks to me like a single... Yeah, a single science grabber is doing a perfectly good job at keeping the amount of science down. So, okay, we got a good amount of science going on here. And can we actually, you know, get this going right now? If I activate that now, yes, I can start feeding it science as it shows up. So I just need to be in a position to, you know, grab the science as it comes in, which is all absolutely fine. So now, okay, now I can get on with the rest of my life while this is just happening by itself. Lovely. And here comes the tech. Okay, so I've basically brute forced my way to, yes, splitters and whatnot. So, okay, 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 okay. Let's figure out how we're going to automate science. Okay, so hang on, hang on, hang on. You, buddy, are going to produce circuit boards, right? And you, buddy, you're going to be producing electromagnets or... Is it electromagnets? No, magnetic coils. Those are probably the same thing. How about what we have is we have... Oh, there's thermal power. Hang on, I'm busy doing other bits and pieces. Yeah, we can have levels up. So you feed into that. That's just lovely, but it's going to be needing... Yeah, it's going to be needing some uh, some copper too. So that's fine. Copper is... That's easy bet. Just for the time being, keep this super easy. And yeah, if need be, we can just build more extensions either side. So it needs power, however. Bloody hell. Everything's always power, 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 isn't it? Right, okay, just... Stuff that down, like, right there. That's all fine. Sooner we've got coal power, the better. This thing needs twice as much iron as it needs it copper. So, we need to make sure we're actually in good shape. Oh, we need to bloody hell. Yes, we need to also have it be, you know, shipped somewhere. Because otherwise, problems. Now, just, yes, have ourselves some nice, nice magnets going in this direction. Right, and that should now start producing magnets. But they've got to, like, you know go somewhere. That's kind of important. They need to actually, you know, have somewhere they need to go. So now we just need... Oh, I'm going to need more of this sooner or later. 
Okay, just start like mass producing 10 million bloody conveyor belts because we're never not going to be needing conveyor belts. And in fact, here's fun. Conveyor belts can always go underneath grabbers by default. Okay, now that, that's actually bloody useful. And now we just set up the two brand new bits and pieces. They don't have power, but that's fine. We can, uh, we can fix that. So just that down some more power. Okay. So now, now we've got ourselves a, a chest of like electromagnets or whatever, and a chest of uh, these things. And as we can go underneath the actual grabber on the far side of this thing, best thing we could do would be, yes, have the conveyor belts be like right here. So, oh, I'm out of power, and that means my drones are now going at ludicrous slow speed. Yes, okay, I need to, need to power myself up here. There we go, little drones now much faster, love it. That is fast enough that this will now, okay, this will now produce science forever. Because both the numbers are going up. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to be needing some coal. And I know I've got myself one thermal power station right here. Now that's going to produce some bloody energy. Okay, so this little power plant appears to be eating coal. And a single line is actually feeding it pretty efficiently. And it does not appear to be needing water. Okay, now, now we're golden, though, to be honest, if, like, you know, a single power plant of a single feed is, like, you know, going up in the world this fast. Okay, I see no reason why we wouldn't want, say, I don't know, two power plants. Also, just out of interest, if I actually take, you know, a giant pile of, uh, coal myself, can I just feed myself coal? And the answer is, uh, yes, I can feed myself coal, marvellous. Oh, now here we go. Now we can just start doing research bloody fast. And on top of that, wireless power tower. I can start feeding the robot off the grid. Now that, that I want. Because then we don't need to worry about, you know, shoveling coal into myself any longer. In fact, if anything, yes, we're massively underproducing science right now. Okay, how are we going to be fixing uh, all of that? Because I feel like we can... Ooh, glass. Okay. I need glass if I want to make, you know, uh, more matrix lamps. So apparently I could... Uh, aha! I can manually produce some glass for now just from basic stone. So that there, that's fine. I feel like we could quadruple the amount of, you know, science we're currently producing. That should be absolutely fine. So you just get on with that. In fact, that's going to take... Wow. That is going to take no time whatsoever. Aside from the fact I need just a handful more rocks... Just to, you know, get a little bit more sand going on. So we're just going to have all of these in a big line. Alright, this is going to be my line of lovely, lovely, efficient McJibbles. It's going to be great. And by the way, I might just be needing, yeah, some power for literally all of you. Is that going to be good enough to actually get all of you hooked into the grid? The answer is good. Yes, it is. Now, this might start eating power a little bit fast, but I'm sure it's all going to be fine. Okay, so what we're going to have is we're going to have one line that's like about here-ish, and then it should go down in this direction, all the way down to here. Because all we need is a single feed to power this here lamp. Also, apparently I could actually make... Aha! I can make a wireless charger right now. So yes, if I put one of you right here, then all of a sudden slap that down and I should be able to... Ooh, blimey. So when I'm not standing in it, I'm screwed. When I am standing in it, okay, so that's a nice place to be. Because yes, what I also need now is I need this to be going in this direction. A certain number of tiles. Then I need it to start going up a little bit, right? And if I can make it go like... Uh, is that good enough to go over the top? Okay, apparently that's good enough to go over the top, which is great. Then, yeah, to about here. Okay, that's good enough. Then back down again, please. That'll do. Then to here. Then down as quick as you like to here. There we go. And then just along over in this direction. 
Also, I do actually have, you know, the fast assaulter. So I should probably start using that, to be honest. That's definitely a good idea. So how about we just get, yeah, one of them in play right now. So this is, oh, that's a lot faster, yes. So start shipping that over to here. That's all absolutely golden. Then I just need one of you to here. One of you to here. And one of you to here. Okay, so now that's maybe grabbing a bit too much stuff, actually. Because, yes, the problem we've got here is it's grabbing everything it can. It doesn't really care about the fact that it's, like, you know, full up or anything. So, I need to ship more stuff. Because more stuff needs to... Okay, this is not entirely... What should be... Oh, bloody hell, that's shipping everything. But, like, if that's shipping everything, then eventually that's actually shipping as much as a single conveyor can can carry. So now nothing nothing's going to here, like, at all. Because that's now... That's now being produced sufficiently slowly that, like, the problem we've got here is... Oh, the problem we've got here is magnets. Hang on, what's, what's slowing down the... Okay, well, that's... Okay, more... More magnets... More magnets, please. We need more magnets because I bet there's 10 million bloody... Wait, there's nothing. Oh, there's nothing in... Oh, oh, hang on. Something's gone very wrong upstream here. Okay, I think we just need to ramp up production a bit in this part of the world because the basic iron is... That's 60 a minute. This is 40 a minute. This is producing like... This is producing double that. So I feel like we just need... Okay, we just need more magnets. And I can't make more of these fast things because I need... Okay, electric motors. That's fine. Hang on. There's got to be... There's got to be plenty of science going on over here. I'm sure I've seen electric motors. So, yes, I'll be having, like, you know, all of this, actually. Thank uh, you. Uh, electric motors was down, like, at the... Here we go. Get that down at the bottom. Get the basic stuff done. Get all the basic stuff done. We're going to be needing it, like, you know, sooner or later. So, you may as cocking well. Okay, is everything powered? And I think it is. So, okay, I have now automated the science production. Aside from the fact that's a little bit on the... Bit of a backlog going on there. Just, you know, more of the basic slow lads right over there. We might need... Okay, you know what? I feel like we need a fast lad right over here. So, slap down my last fast one. That's a lot faster. It's not like 10%. That's like double the speed. Got it. So, okay, that there, that's now going to be a lot of science very... Oh, that's a lot of science very quickly. Okay, now that's more flipping like it. Also, I never bothered finishing this over here. So I didn't have the um the electro things. Because I feel like the problem might be, yes, not grabbing the things off the thing faster. But now I know what this is, I can make like loads of these. So get working on that, but I need those as the base. That's gonna take me like uh oh hang on, hang on. I'm I'm about to run out of battery. Get back to my charging tower. Bloody hell, hurry it up, hurry it up, hurry it up. Right. Get into the get into the thing and sweet refreshing electricity. Also, uh oh, uh, why is there a oh? Okay, there's some form of uh, there's some form of terrifying nightmare in terms of uh, energy usage. Does anyone know why there's a terrifying nightmare in terms of uh, energy usage? Because I thought we had bloody okay more power plants. Just have more bloody power plants everywhere. Okay, I have tripled uh, my flipping output of energy off coal. Okay, so as long as nothing happens to this here pylon, we should now be golden. Alright, everything should be fine. And while I was doing that, just to check here, there's another 300 bits and pieces. Good, good, good. And now, now I can start doing all sorts of improvements to myself. Good. So energy circuit sees uh, more mecha fuel power. That's all fine. My drone engines. Uh, yes, let's get my drones uh, be better and jibbling and also uh, mecha flight. Okay, now that, that we can do. All right, queue up all of that. That's all fine. Admittedly, it's a little bit on the uh, expensive side, but that's okay because I got my charging station. And now what I've got myself is vein distribution. So, okay, now I can start seeing what's here. Also, I can look at my own power network from space, and that just really cheers me up. Because it's really nice to, you know, see a power network from space. Also, just, you know, zoom out a little bit here. Oh, that's nice. That's nice right there. So, this this planet right here, Ice Giant, needs drive engine too. Well, I'd say, you know, 
I'm not stopping until we've at least made it to the ice giant, all right? That's what we need to do. And here we go. Universe exploration. Blue science lets me see what's going on on the planet next door. So that there, that's got to be useful. So just add that to my list of, you know, things what I'm queuing up right now. So yeah, right now I can fly. But if I actually want to, you know, uh, get off world and get a mecha sail and whatever, I'm going to be needing red. Okay, I need red science. And red science is down over here, so I need only blue science to unlock it. So that's all absolutely fine. Okay, red science also needs graphite and that's water, presumably. Okay, so hang on, hang on, hang on. Just, no, no, show me more. Show me. Never mind, I think that's graphite and water. Here we go, I've already got this. So smelting purification, that unlocks silicon ore. Okay, so silicon ore I can create by grinding down normal rocks. Then I can use that to make... Oh, wait, hang on. No, no, I can't. Okay, graphite comes from, like, coal, but also other things. Um, that's that's fine. Also, my drones are now faster. That's that's lovely. And then I can use the, the stuff over here to make glass. Okay, well, at the bare minimum, there's loads of bloody rocks right here, so I may as well get, yes, glass productioning, because we're going to be needing that sooner or later. Oh, and here's nice. So, okay, all that science has finally paid for mecha flight. So, how do we... Oh, flip me! Okay, that's, that's nice. I can just fly now. That's, that's just lovely. It's a bit expensive on the old everything. And then when we're just ready to... How do we... Alt! Alt, you say? Okay, down we go. Oh, now that'll flippy do the job, yes. Okay, let me show you around as I've made some changes. So, the amount of coal was actually getting a bit low once I built some graphite facilities over here. So, I got a second coal miner in and also another two thermal power stations because... Yeah, there was a bit of a problem where if we ever reached 100% capacity, then, you know, the machines that fed the power stations stopped working, meaning power fell even more, and then the whole thing spiraled downwards. So that's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. okay, I can't fly for that long just yet. But, you know, I can fly a bit. It's still pretty impressive. So everything's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. Other than that, most things are as they should be, though I will admit it's a bit odd that over here... Like, you know, the game did say I needed the, um, the special green stuff to make glass. But no, actually, um, the actual machine is asking for stone rather than uh, this stuff. So, not sure if that's a bug or not. But, you know, in either case, I've got a giant pile of glass and a giant pile of the other. And I've also got, yes, uh, two recharging stations at each side of the base. Because uh, I do kind of just, you know, need them to keep me going. And more important than that... Oh, no, this is where things get, uh, things start getting exciting... I'm pretty sure I've learned how to learn all about this stuff, haven't I? Hang on. Hang on, hang on. How do I, how do I learn about other bits and pieces? Here we go. Collectible fire ice. Collectible hydrogen. Okay. So, I'm seeing it. Yes. That's not... John, you knew the thing you saw before wasn't water. Because water's H2O. Like, there needs to be a 2 in there somewhere. So... This ice planet ain't got much, but it does have, uh, yes, fire ice, whatever that is, and uh, hydrogen. And can I get any? I can't get any of that. Meanwhile, over here, yes, this is because I've got uh, Universe Explorer 2. So I don't know what's going on in other systems, but I know what's going on here. So basic resources uh, over on this planet, pretty good, all things considered. There are lava oceans, which is, you know, maybe a bit concerning. And of course, yes, depending on where it is, wind might be less effective, solar might be more. And if there's no coal, that could be very important. And there's also one tiny planet over here. Okay, ridiculous amounts of titanium. Now, I'm pretty sure I've got some titanium on my little moon. But yes, now all of a sudden, the scale just flipping, you know, changed massively. No, I don't have titanium. I simply cannot make titanium. Well, I don't have silicon ore as like a thing I can harvest. I can get a tiny bit of silicon ore and a tiny bit of titanium just out of random rocks. I'm pretty sure I've got like a little bit of it already. Like, uh, yeah, 32 titanium ore. So uh, randomly drilling into rocks might give me a little bit of titanium. It's not saying there's none. It's just saying there's no like, you know, big massive veins or anything. So, okay. This is where things start getting a little bit uh, 
yes, more complicated. Okay, here comes the big one. Energy Matrix 2 is now available. So, okay, over to my own personal little thing here. How do I make these? So, okay, my planet doesn't actually have a source of hydrogen, but, like, I can create it myself by, like... I don't know. Oh, here we go. So, plasma refining. Hydrogen and refined oil can be obtained by refining crude oil with plasma. I do not know if that's true or not, but okay, there may or may not be science going on here. Because yes, for once I found something I can't just make by, like, you know, shoving it in my own chest cavity as awesome a robot as I am. So, okay. I need crude oil. Alright, and I know how to get, like, some stuff out. Oh, now we're dealing with liquids. Oh, everything's about to get complicated. I'm pretty sure I saw some stuff over... Yeah, over here. So, okay. Hang on. Oil extractor. When plasma is used to extract oil from crude oil. Okay. Water pump, mining machine. Yes, but how do we get the crude oil out of the ground? Step one, just make myself a nice little water pump here. And we'll see if we can use that to pump some crude oil out of the ground. Nope, can confirm that's not a starter. Now that leaves me with only one option, which is the oil extractor. Even though it's crude oil, logically that makes sense. So uh, for that I'm going to be needing steel. Okay, I can manually make some steel just to, you know, get us ticking over for the time being. That's probably for the best. Actually, you know what? No, it's not. We're going to be needing steel. Let's just get some steel on this side of the fields. Now, as this is a dedicated chain, all we need to say is, one, you turn that into that, and then two, you turn that into that. Okay, and we just make a dedicated chain and everybody's happy. So you just go straight into there. You just go straight into... You just go straight into too close. Okay, that's fine. So you can pick things up and then just slap them down again. No trouble whatsoever. Everything's under control. It's not that close. Like, you know, one more step away. One more step away. That should be A-OK. -okay. And then one a fast thing over to here. And then you create steel. And then we just see what's going on here. Because this thing should be able to make, yes, a lot of bloody iron very fast. And this should be able to make a lot of bloody... Yeah, that should be A-OK. -okay. That's all absolutely fine. Then we just want to have a nice little chain coming off that. Just so you know, we've got plenty of this. Shove down a box. I've got one of them spare floating around right over here. I've gone pretty much over 100% to the new faster sorters, which is definitely for the better. And there we go. Steel now being stored very rapidly right there. Good, 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 good. So that's going to be some steel. So now I've got the steel. Just have that for myself for the time being. Oh, now that'll do the job. It's flipping massive, but okay. Right, I'm now producing, like, oil. And here we go. Oil refinery produces refined oil, and there's the hydrogen we need. Good, 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 good. Because we need hydrogen in order to do... Wait, why do we need hydrogen? We need hydrogen for something. I started this process for a reason. It was something to do with the red, wasn't it? Yes! Here we go. It's the red science. So that is huge amounts of graphite, huge amounts of hydrogen. So graphite's easy, because that's just uh, take coal and then chunk it for a bit. So we're going to have flipping loads of that. That's not a problem in the slightest. I've got loads over there. And I can make more because I can just go and find more coal. That bit's easy. The limiting factor is going to be hydrogen. So we're going to be needing as much hydrogen as I can get my hands on. Okay, so set this thing to start plasma refining. This thing is already going to be... This thing's going to be full up already. So I don't know how many of these we can support on a single oil extractor. And also... I don't actually have pipes yet. So am I okay to just like, you know, be using some lovely, lovely conveyor belts? Because I really, really hope I am. Because... Is this, is this working? Yes, okay, it's like in boxes. We're packing it up into little oil boxes or something. Marvellous. Or like, oh my goodness, they're really cute. They're like, you know, oil jelly. We've made jelly, but with oil. Don't make jelly with oil, by the way. Like, if you do, don't eat it. So, start feeding the oil jelly into this thing. And that is producing now hydrogen and... Oh, that's a bit slow. 
that is a bit on the slow side. So that's 15 a minute versus production of, oh, a lot. Hang on, take that, take that with me here, take that with me. Like 90 a minute. So, okay, we can support like six of these off a single oil McJibble. So, that's precisely what we should do because, as I was saying, this is going to be the big limiting factor. So, get all this down. We're going to be making a line of these bastards. Okay, um, slight discovery. It turns out that running an oil industry is relatively energy intensive. So, we're going to be needing a lot more power plants. Okay, so, um, this took a while to put together, but say hello to my new incredibly amazing system of, you know, creating hydrogen, which is one single oil well down over here feeds a massive oil jelly line. As discussed, we have got six refineries. Each refinery produces two outputs. One produces, okay, one is sort of supposed to be producing just hydrogen down here on the lowest level, and then on the upper level, going over the top, that's where the oil's supposed to go. Now, there were some small occasional mistakes made with some filters, but we have fixed those now. And also, as a result of that, I've had to put some, like, you know, backups up here. So, if something goes wrong, then what's going to happen is uh, those there grabbers are going to, you know, take the things that aren't supposed to be there and shuffle them off somewhere else. And then we just join all these together for the very first time. So, all of that goes... Uh, into one place. Absolutely lovely. Everything is just, you know, magnificent right here. Got a power thing up here as well, just in case it needs it. And yes, all of the fuel gets shipped over here, where it gets stored in a couple of massive fuel tanks, which is lovely. And yes, also where uh, you may notice there's a line of graphite right here. That's a brand new little coal refinery McJibble down over here, leading into six flipping forges. So that should be Efficient. Yeah, that's about uh, 200 a minute, and that is, uh, I think it's about 30 a minute, like if I take that out right now. Yeah, 30 a minute. So, okay, it could be 7. 7 would be optimal. 6 seems just fine to me. That's all about a okay. It's time to load these up and test if they're like, you know, at least vaguely working. So you go there, and you go there, and you go to here, and you go to here. You're not powered yet. Don't worry. We know about that. That's fine. Uh, we will get you powered in just a second. I've been building more of these specially. Get some power onto you. And we should have... Okay, red. Red is now operating. Good. Good, 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 good. So all we need to do now is have the red coming down in this direction. Now we can just start storing all of this lovely, lovely red. It's gonna be beautiful. I tell you what, how about we just double our science capability? Right the flip now. Everybody nice and in place, don't you worry. We've actually got ourselves plenty of lovely, lovely pylon coverage right there. I should have plenty of spare. Okay, I've got like, you know, a few spare. Could definitely do with a handful more than what we've got, but that's all absolutely a-okay. Start loading up you and you are on red. Red and red. Good, 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 good. And once again, this should be all absolutely golden. Okay, up to six. The line's now starting to move. The odd bit of fuel, they get sort of... Okay, why is fuel still big? Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. No, you're not supposed to be... You're not supposed to be doing that. Uh, please set filter. This here, this is hydrogen only. Okay, someone else is sending out... Yes, someone else is sending out the wrong stuff too. You are supposed to be hydrogen, please. Yep, the salt is now pushing everything in the right direction. Marvellous. In fact, if anything, we may have been... Oh. Okay, we may have way too much uh, graphene or graphite or whatever to nowhere near enough um, hydrogen. Okay, well, that's kind of unfortunate. Here's where things get fun. With a giant pile of red, we should be able to get... Mecha core 2 underway. Oh, that's nice and fast. That's just to prove you know what red is. Okay, let's just get that happening because, uh, oh, once that's done, once that's done, hang on, hang the flip on. Where's, uh, where's the good stuff? Here we go. Uh, drone engines. No, that's the drones. Drive engines. Uh, the mecha sail. 
Okay, so at that point, we can start, you know, activating sail mode. And at that point, we can orbit the planet at high speed. Oh, now this is good. Okay, so as it turns out, once the backlog's clear, by the way, yeah, we've basically got enough hydrogen to be running like, I don't know, maybe two or three of them, um, actually. The problem, however, is the oil is not getting through, which I was not expecting, because that was... Wait, what? Okay, 90 a minute... Only 15 a minute, but... Oh, when you say 15 a minute, do you mean per... Okay. Um, that produces two to only one. But shouldn't that mean that that's still one per... Okay, so we're gonna be needing more oil. Got it. Hang on, I swear I saw another oil thing. There's another oil thing right here. We are golden. Nice and simple, giant piles of oil now just piling in over here, and that should get everything running nice and fancy. I'm not sure how my maths went wrong, but somehow, like, 15 times by 6 doesn't equal 90, which I really feel like it, you know, should, but this should lead to a massive increase in the amount of, where did you just come from? No, that is is the hydrogen. How many times do I have to tell you bastards that is the hydrogen? Oh, here we go. Mecha sale. Right, 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 right. So now, 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 shut up, tutorial. I'll figure it out. I just want to get into space, damn it. All right, if I'm going flying, one, make sure that my engine is fully charged, and two, make sure I've got, you know, actual fuel in my fuel chamber. Especially when I've got refined oil. Alright, so refined oil, right there. And apparently energetic graphite can be used as like, you know, fuel as well. So that's nice, and we'll take some wood just because I feel like it. So that there, that is... Uh, ah, hang on, I think I see what's going on there. And when you say, wait, M jewels and... Okay, you know what, that's fine. Alright, this is, this is all A-OK, okay. so now, now we go. And now we just... Okay. Now we just go forward, did you say? Oh, 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 here we go. Here we flip it. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Okay. Um, does anyone know how my fuel's go? Oh, it's not going well. Hold down the shift key to accelerate. Accelerate, you say? I think we'll be going for some of that. And... Oh, flip me... Okay, so now we're... Um... I forgot to drop a save before I did this. Does anyone know how I... Okay, uh, well now I've got no... Now I've got no fuel. Now I've got no... Okay, does anybody know how we maybe get back to the, the planet that I, I live on? I feel like we ought to... Okay, so... I think what we've learnt here... Is my oh I've got fuel, it's just we're burning it. Okay, I've got I've not even touched my fuel yet. Oh well screw that business then. Okay, for whatever reason I just can't land on that planet, but that's all absolutely fine because uh, we've got another planet. So you gotta be careful because uh, any form of correction in space, whether it's any form of turn, or it's accelerating, or whether it's slowing down, it's all the same. It all leads to, yes, burnt fuel. So, I need to make sure that what's going on here is I get to the lava planet, but... I've got a little bit of spare fuel, but not much. Yeah, okay, here we go. Just boost up a little bit, because once I've boosted speed, I get to maintain that speed. Right? Because that makes sense, because I'm, like, you know, in space. So, boost speed a little bit, up to 400 meters, miles, something a second. All right, just make sure I understand the galaxy here. Okay, make sure I understand. Oh, blimey heck. Okay, hang on. Here we go. So I'm moving towards its orbit. So I need to start, like, moving left a bit. Okay, in order to, like, intercept it. Okay, it's rising. I need to be in a position to rotate and... Okay, this is, this is nice. This is nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, use the, uh, use the thing. Use the thing. It's kind of coming... It's gonna start being a bit too much in this direction. So I just need to adjust my aim. And then I need to be... I'm a little bit concerned about the fact we might be going to be missing it slightly. Okay, uh, line it up to about here. Okay, now to about here. And now, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Go, go, about. That looks about good. Now it speeds up a little bit, speeds up a little bit. And now we should hopefully be heading straight at it. Right, uh, maybe, maybe at this point consider, consider, consider slowing down. Do we want to slow down? I don't know if we want to slow down. I mean, we've made it much further, which is which is nice. And now we just need to get now we just need to get in in towards it. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Don't land in the lava by the. Oh, we're going quite fast. Oh, we're going probably a bit too fast. Actually, actually, go, go. No, 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 no. Planet, 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 planet. Come on, come on, behave, behave, planet. Okay, um, we we landed. Does anyone remember what this planet's, like, got on it? So, iron, copper, etc. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I should have the ability to see what's on this planet because I got... Aha! Yes, I've invested in this. I'm golden. You say there's coal on this planet. I don't see the coal. Oh, there's a tiny, tiny amount of coal. Like, maybe, like, one bit of coal on, like, the, the far side of that. I can't even bloody see it. I'm not sure it was a good idea to... To come here, actually, in some ways. Oh, hang on, I've got my... John, you've got your entire bloody... Okay, well, I've got some plant matter. Okay, so I've got enough plant matter to stay alive. Because I've brought my inventory with me. Because, you know, I'm a robot. I keep my stuff, like, in my chest cavity or whatever. Okay, activate normal flight mode. I just need to find, like... Never mind, I, I cannot really... I can't really fly on, on this planet. If I could find the, um... The actual, you know, coal... We might be okay. I feel like in many ways this planet is a dead useless husk and I shouldn't have come here. Here we go. I found a tiny amount of coal and I found the only thing on this planet worth bloody visiting it for, which is the titanium veins. Well, I'll tell you what I should do. What I should do is, yes, get the actual machine working on these ore veins. That way, if I ever come back, it'll be ready, all right? I'll have collected a giant pile of this stuff. Here we go. Titanium ore now being stored. Even if I nip home, that's just going to keep flipping happening. Okay, put all that together. I might just have enough energy to get home. Now, admittedly, I'm not 100% sure where home is. No, that's not home. That's that's definitely not right. Uh, that is. That looks like home. Oh, it's really close. It's really close. Go! And now just start going. No, up. Up, 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 up. I want to be going off into space, all right? It actually looks pretty... Uh, it's pretty close right now. Right, traveling at 85. Accelerate to 200, uh, but no more. Okay, four kilometers and dropping to nearest body in space, which is, uh, yeah, this big old thing right here, which I just can't land on for whatever reason. In which case, now I just need to... I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, my planet's just hiding around the back. It's just shy. But it's fine, right? It's just... I mean, I hope it's still there. It feels like it's kind of not at the minute, but I'm sure it's all fine. Just turn... There it is! I found it! Oh, hang on. No, no, no. Not not into that. Not into the weird gas planet giant that apparently I can't do anything with. So now traveling at, uh, 1 at 1 14. I'm not 100% sure where my, you know, uh, base is. Or anything. It's like, it's somewhere on here. Like, it's not a big planet. I can just, you know, stroll around it in two and a half minutes. It's fine. And my speed is going down because I'm being pulled into that giant thing's bloody gravity well. And now I just need to accelerate to intercept. And here we flip in. Go. Uh, okay. So where's, where's my, where's my base? My base is, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. My base is somewhere. I know I've got a base somewhere on this planet. Okay, never mind, I've landed. Oh, there it is! Oh, that was... That was perfect. And now I have made it home. All right, I flew to another planet. It turned out to be, like, garbage. So I just came back to my planet. But 
ba 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 hang on. Now, on Theta Serpentis, there is just a titanium mine. Just mining titanium. Now, you're probably thinking, well, that's not very useful, because, you know, it's over there, John. But, ba 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 this is... What you've seen, what's taken me five hours to put together, is actually just, like, you know, basically the tutorial, if you like. Because, sure, we've got conveyor belts, but you call that automation, that's not automation. Getting a whole bunch of robots to do all the bits I'm doing for you, now that's automation. But what you really want is interstellar logistics. The point at which, yes, you've got drones flying automatically from planet to planet, gathering resources on one, bringing it back to another, and then of course, that's just within the same system. And then you start saying, screw this system I'm in. No, 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 no. That's just one star in an entire flipping modelled physical universe. So, uh, yeah, this is... this is lovely. This is just lovely. And right now I have no idea what's going on in this system, but if I were to keep, you know, upgrading and investing and diddly diddly ding I would. I'd know what was in the next system over there. Meanwhile, on this planet, things have just been, you know, going very, very nicely indeed. So if I just go over to my uh, little box, yeah, several thousand red science has just been made. So uh, because I automated this planet, now I've come back, everything is looking, you know, really good, really sexy. And I also had an overflow box over here, gathering a huge amount of refined oil. So now I've got refined oil ready to go. And now I can also do titanium because I know titanium is on the next planet over. And uh, okay, basically, uh, yes, this is, uh, this is good stuff. This is really, really good stuff. So I get the feeling, ladies and gentlemen, we might well be seeing this again. Games like, you know, Satisfactory and Factorio and this, they always make good live streams. So uh, expect to see a live stream of this sooner rather than later because this is, uh, this is lovely. And this is just an early access, by the way. This isn't done yet, but it's just, it's so impressive. The scale of it is so damn impressive. There's a lot here I really, really like. If you like your Factorios and your Satisfactories, uh, Obviously, you're going to be wanting to check this out. But even if you don't, I find this one a bit more new player friendly than Factorio Satisfactory. Like, Factorio and Satisfactory, I had to spend a lot of time, like, looking stuff up in the wiki. Because I wasn't sure what was really going on and why I could and couldn't do certain things. This, like, overwhelmingly, I've just been able to figure it out. It feels very logical and intuitive to me. So, yeah. Good stuff. Going to be keeping a close eye on this one as it develops. Because as I say, this is just, you know, early access. It's going to get bigger and better and more interesting. So expect to see more of this, ladies and gentlemen. It is good, exciting, interesting stuff. So hopefully you are looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been Many a True Nerd. And this has been Dyson Sphere Program. Thank you very much and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.